Today I'm gonna to talk about how to calculate how much to save. This math is gonna be super simple. You're gonna be able to do it on your phone. If this is your first time at our channel or you haven't subscribed, click on the subscribe button at the bottom. My name's Travis Sickle, Certified Financial Planner with Sickle Hunter Financial Advisors. If you're trying to get to a goal, say buying your first home or going on a vacation, you wanna save for it, you need a better way to do it and you wanna calculate it. You wanna know how much to save, right? So we need to upgrade this to something that's gonna work a little bit better for us. So here we go. I'm gonna give you a link to the calculator that I use on my phone. It's super simple. Instead of going out and buying a financial calculator, you can actually download a simple app to do the math for you. It's fairly simple. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So today's example, I'm gonna talk about buying a home. So let's say it's your second home or your first home. It doesn't matter. You want to be able to save a little bit of money. You want to avoid PMI, so you want to save at least 20%. So if that's the case, let's do some math. So we're going to start out with the goal, which is $300,000. Now that's the purchase price. So we have $300,000, but we only need to save 20% of that. 20% of that is going to come out to $60,000. Now, the other thing that you need to know is when do you want to buy the house? You know, when is a reasonable expectation that you can afford the house? Well, maybe you don't know. So we're going to have to work on some math. So one of those things is the time frame. So whether that's three, five, or 10 years out, now I'm sure that you want to buy this house as quickly as possible. So here's how we can do it. So the $60,000 goal is what we're trying to achieve. But we know that there's something else. There's something called inflation. That's the price of goods every single year slowly increasing. Well, sometimes we don't even feel it, but it does happen. So let's assume, we're going to have to assume something. We're going to have to assume a rate of inflation. So we're going to assume this 60,000 right here is growing at a 3% annual rate of return. That means if we're going to buy this house in five years, that 60,000 is going to be more. So let's say that's five years at 3%. So now we have to figure out what is $60,000 in five years. So let's take this math and let's inflate that 60,000 out for five years. So we're gonna do it on the calculator. I'll put the link in the description of the calculator that I'm using on my phone so you can do it simply. If we're taking and we're looking at the five years, first we wanna hit five, shift, and N. That's gonna give us our 60 months. You can see 60 up there, 60 payments. If we go to the interest, we're going to get a 3% interest rate because that is inflation. Our present value is $60,000. We're not going to save anything. We just want to know what $60,000 is in five years. Our future value, or FV, is going to give us that $69,697. Now, don't worry about that negative. You just have to save the $70,000. That's the number that we're looking for. So now we know that in five years, that same 60 that's today is gonna to be 70,000 tomorrow. So now we have to figure out how much we need to save. So what we need to now assume is what rate of return we're gonna get in the market. So let's say assuming a 7%. So let's change that interest rate to 7%. We're still gonna keep it with the five years or the 60 months. And our present value is now zero because we have nothing saved. And if we hit the payment key, the PMT, that's gonna be $974 per month at a 7% rate of return. So if our investments do 7% every single year, we'll have enough money to put down on a $300,000 house. Now let's say that $974 per month is out of your budget, something that you can't afford. So that means we're gonna to have to prolong the goal or push it back. So instead of five years, maybe we'll go to six or seven years. So you can make that simple adjustment right on your calculator by just hitting seven, shift, and the N key, and you can see that changed to 84 months, which is seven years. If you go back and hit the payment key, we can see that it brings it down to $645 per month. And if you wanna be more conservative and you wanna only get a 5% rate of return, you just hit five, shift, and interest, and hit that payment key again, and it, you can see it goes back up a little bit. It went to $695. So you can work this math on one specific goal for anything that you're trying to achieve. You just wanna make sure that your assumptions are correct, whether it's inflation or the rate of return that you're achieving. Now, don't take on more risk than you can handle 
This is just to show you how the math is done. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave your comments down at the bottom. Thank you.